Dang, this computer is infected. Look at that CPU jumping up to 100%, doing things that you don't really want it to do. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Would you like a few toolbars with that Internet Explorer? Good Lord, it's like half the page is toolbars. And then if we look at our desktop, we've got Weather Channel, and then we've got Kinsinger, Kinsinger, whatever this craziness is, and Optimizer Pro trying to get us to clean and get rid of some junk there with a paid program that we don't want to buy. So this thing, I'd consider it host with an adware slash malware infection. And there's oh, only a few million things in a taskbar here. This is ridiculous. It's, it's in pretty bad shape. So uh, let's take a look and see what we can do about making this computer all better. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this baby down. Let's hit the power button and uh, initiate a shutdown here. And uh, in the meantime, it's going to take forever to shut this down, all the processes uh, we're running here. So we picked up this nifty little thing called a Fix Me Stick. And uh, what it's supposed to do, according to all the videos and reviews online, it's supposed to automatically remove viruses and malware and spyware trojans and root kits that can't be removed by anything else using a couple of uh, well-known antivirus program. So it's a USB dongle. Supposedly it boots directly from this USB dongle, put in any USB slot, and it does require an internet connection. But uh, apparently it runs in Linux, so it runs outside of the Windows environment, which is a great way to remove things. So we do that occasionally, too. We do it manually. But let's see if this thing uh, passes the muster. So they give you this big box... And then there's your little dongle, and there's nothing else in here. So you got to kind of pop this little USB thing out. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Fix Me Stick. The Miracle USB dongle. Pop this baby off, and it's just a regular USB. Looks like a flash drive. So we're going to pop it in any available USB port. I'm going to use one of them on the front here. And again, I have an Internet connection. I've got an Ethernet plugged into this guy. And go ahead, let's plug it in. Now you have to tell your computer where to boot from. On HP computers, you have to tell it uh, with the escape button, tap the escape button, and then it loads the uh, boot menu. Some of them are F9, some of them are F12, depending on the make, model, and manufacturer. So we're going to tell it to boot from this USB dongle and see what it does. All right, shows up as a hard drive, CD-ROM, and then the Fix Me Stick. So let's boot from that and see what it tells us here. Three, two, one. This is so exciting. So it's loading Linux here, which is pretty cool, and we should have a little Linux operating system. Now the uh, home version, I think, lets you fix up to three individual computers per month, I guess, and the subscription's about a year, and this thing runs about 60 bucks. And then you have to renew it at the end of the year, and then uh, pick up either a new license or a new Fix Me stick. Who knows what that's going to have there. Stick it to viruses. So I'm excited. I mean, this could make uh, a lot of our jobs very, very easy. And uh, hopefully this will do everything it tells us it's going to do. All right, so there's some kind of blah, blah, blah. It's going to send data to help improve. The, okay, I'll be a sport and send that out to the Fix Me Stick people. So it looks like it's running the... Oh, it's doing an update. So it's going online and pulling down an update, which is pretty cool because you need to update your definitions, and that's very smart that it's doing that. And remember, you have to have your computer connected to some kind of Internet. I'm not sure how it works on the laptop with a wireless connection. We'll have to try that in one of our next ones here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and register this guy. All right, I've gone ahead with the registration, and now it is updating malware definitions. And it looks like it's got a couple more steps here, so we'll... Uh, Step back here and see what's going on as soon as it's uh, done all of its updating and initialization. In the meantime, were you aware that there was a United States Computer Emergency Readiness Team? I don't even know what that is. I'm going to go ahead and Google it and find out who these guys are. Sounds interesting. Love to have a beer with them, huh? Imagine how much fun they'd be. And as it's doing its deal, the Fix Me stick glows with an ominous red LED. Ooh. I should flip the lights off. Now a couple of people I know have run this Fix Me Stick and when it was done at scan, it rendered the computer unbootable. So they had to go on and fix the operating system now. Supposedly you can undo your quarantine by booting back from the Fix Me Stick if that happens to you and uh, hopefully it'll restore the computer back to uh, operational status. But uh, with any malware cleanup, if it infects the Windows system files in the registry, you're kind of, uh, well, 
you're kind of dealing with random results here because you really don't know what it's done. Each computer tends to be a little bit different. So just be aware that there is the possibility that things can go haywire. And uh, you may need to take it to a qualified computer technician. But let's go ahead and see what this guy does on this particular infected computer. So she's scanning now. It's been about a minute. And they said it could be 30 minutes. Some people have, re have reported that it's a couple of hours. So we'll go ahead and uh, let it run through. And once the scan is over, we'll take a look at the results. And then uh, we'll go ahead and boot the computer and see uh, if we have a repaired computer or if we need to do further repairs. Hey, Chuck, Chuck, what are you doing? I'm watching grass grow. It's about the same effect as watching this thing scan for viruses. So we're still going. It's been about an hour and 17 minutes so far, and it's telling us we've got about two hours and 35 minutes to go. <sighs> so uh, we'll come back and uh, see what the results are. It's done in three hours, 50 minutes, and 17 seconds. So let's see what it found here. Oh, it found a bunch of stuff. All right, so you've got a couple of options here. You can clean your whole computer and just uh, go willy-nilly and leave faith into their hands. And just click on clean computer. But I want to see results. I want to see what happened here. So show me what you found. So I can scroll through all this stuff. Holy smokes, look at this. It's got Trojans and all kinds of funny, goofy adware and downloaders and all kinds of web search stuff. So this is kind of cool. I found a whole bunch of stuff and you can select each one and tell it what you would keep some of the stuff or quarantine some of it. But uh, by default, which is nice, it's selected to quarantine everything. So. I actually want to make sure, kind of eyeball it, it's all quarantined. So I'm going to go ahead and quarantine everything. So Fix Me Stick is magically quarantining everything bad that it found on my computer. So what we'll do is let it go through this thing, see how long that takes, and then we'll go ahead and reboot it and see what kind of state the computer's in after we reboot. All right, it took about three or four minutes, and uh, all the infections were successfully quarantined, it's telling me. So you can either see results or exit fix me stick and blah blah blah. Alright, so let's exit and then uh, reboot. And we need to take the fix me stick out. And then we're going to reboot the machine and uh, see what kind of state it's in. The moment of truth. Oh my god! It loaded a Mac desktop! Ah! No, I'm just kidding. Uh-oh. Well, apparently it doesn't find Uniblue, speed up my PC, is a piece of adware or grayware or malware or anything. So, speed up my PC is actually taking over my entire desktop, which it didn't do before. Well, that's kind of interesting. Let's see what else is going on when we close this. Well, maybe some people think speed up my PC isn't junkware or malware, but... My customer told me that she did not download this. She was completely unaware that this speed up my PC was going to be installed on her machine. So I'd have to classify that as grayware. Mm. All right, so the rest of the desktop is popping up, taking its sweep time and a couple of DLLs. Uh-oh, Optimizer Pro is still here. She didn't install or delete that either. She's not really sure where that came from. So let's close that. Let's check on some of the browsers. First of all, where the heck are my desktop icons, bro? Okay, give it a chance to load. Stop being so impatient. So let's wait for that to load, then we'll take out our Internet Explorer and see if we still have a massive onslaught of toolbars. Well, we've gone down a couple toolbars. Look like we're down to three now. Uh, the AOL looks like it's okay. Shop at home is a little questionable. I'm not sure what the top one was there before, too. But now it's telling me that there was a proxy server... There still is a proxy server still installed here, so let's uh, check that out and see what's making that happen. All right, under Internet Options, apparently the proxy server is still set, although the proxy was probably removed. So an end user just using this thing probably will not be able to connect to the Internet until he or she removes that proxy server. And it looks like the Fix Me Stick cannot do that automatically. So there are, it looks like there's some limitations uh, to this thing 
being a complete solution to clean everything up and make all the world problems go away. So let's see what else is going on here that would need to be fixed manually. This is a very easy fix if you know what you're doing. All right, I ran an Internet Explorer reset through Internet Options, and the Internet appears to be coming up now. Of course, that took out all the toolbars and stuff, too, which is a bonus. And you can get there through Control Panel and, uh, uh-oh, what's this? Oh, that's okay. That's a new Internet Explorer 11 message. So it looks like everything's going the way it should be. And web searches are going where they're supposed to, so that's a good thing. So once we reset the Internet, it appears to be working normally now. A couple things have happened, though. The Weather Channel uh, appears not to be loading correctly, so it's stuck on the desktop. So you're going to have to force that to close through Task Manager and then uninstall it. And it also has some of these shop to win things in here and some of this other stuff, deal runner, that it failed to remove. And exit, that can go away. A lot of this stuff is kind of silly. But uh, what is that? I'm not even sure what that is. That could be the software updater. So um, it's better than it was before, but is it an end all be all solution to remove every virus, Trojan, grayware, malware, spyware on the planet? Unfortunately, probably not. Definitely better than it was before, and it might get you enough uh, leeway to get in there and then start uninstalling things and removing things manually or using other tools. But um, is the fix me stick an end all be all? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to do the trick by itself. Looks like it's going to need a little bit of help. Chuck Fresh PCGYN Computer Care Clinics tip of the day.